you see the title. Dan 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 is the worst anime of 2024. It's not the healer that got banished from their party. No, it's not that. It's not Blue Lock or Tower of God with their PNG gliding animation. No, no, no. It's Dan 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 that is the worst anime of 2024. And Young Defiant, I wonder if he's rage baiting. I, I, I wonder if he has a bias or not, but hey, I'd like to hear his take. Let's get it. Um, you know, mm. I just don't understand yeah. the modern day anime fan. It's always so funny how the other Rage Bait channel, remember that shit? Remember the other Rage Bait channel that like, like we, like, that for the ReZero one, right? They also, I mean, that person at the very least was changing it. No, were they, were they changing images? No. No, they weren't. It seems like the meta for Rage Bait channels is have one single fucking image and then you just have shitty audio playing behind the background. I really don't. I don't understand how you can wake up yeah. every day. Mm. Claim to be an anime fan. Claim to, to love this, this beautiful mm. anime world but yet choose yeah. to consume nothing but garbage on a daily basis. Do you uh, really love anime if- I mean, listen, objectively, there are so many worse animes than Dan 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 in fall 2024. No, this is worst anime of 2024 in, a, just in general. Of 2020, not fall, all year long. I've seen so much garbage slop, bro. Newgate counts, right? I, I, Newgate, oh my god, there's enemies that we didn't even finish, but there's some of them we finished where the art, dude, the face is like falling off by the finale, but you're, you're gonna tell me Don the Don is the worst anime of all? If all you do is watch garbage anime that continue to pollute the medium? I don't think so. Listen, if you watch the Don the Don anime, yeah. you're an idiot. Uh oh. Don 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 is a pathetic chainsaw man ripoff, a poor man's chain. A poor man's chainsaw man. How could you even compare the two? They have nothing to do with each other. There's nothing similar about the shows at all. Chainsaw man, that only losers enjoy, and that is a fact, not an opinion. I mean, you would have to be a complete. But before I get into that. I mean, if you're going to say it's a fact, not an opinion, right? You have to break down exactly what is similar between Chainsaw Man and Don Don Don. What Chainsaw Man does better and Don 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 sucks at, right? I am totally down to listen to these Rage Bait videos because I want to hear like the logic and the mental gymnastics that they do to get you heated up, right? At the very least, you can come with them talking points rather than speaking in obscurity, right? Young Defiant. AKA the king of gaming, the mm. king of YouTube, the realest gamer on the internet, the 100% fact spitter, the higher level thinker, the Ooh. leader of the real gamer movement. The king leader of the real game movement. The other guy also claimed to be a higher being of like intellect, right? King of anime, the king of manga, and the one who's better than you in every way yeah. has once again returned to deliver the facts. Better than me in every way? Let's do a quick ego check. Let's do a quick ego check. What's just monthly viewership at right now per month? I'm right now sitting at a nice pretty 1.3 mil and things are looking pretty good. What about you, Young Define? Are you better than me? Bro, you're trash. Bro, you're trash. Bro, my fucking Beyblade alt, my second channel gets more views than you. Bro, you can't be talking shit like that. Like, listen, if you're gonna talk shit, at the very least, have like the numbers, the facts to back it up. Right now, you're just barking like a fucking dog. This is a fucking absolute monkey ass take right now. What do you mean you're better than me? My old channel's better than you. This is once again returned to deliver the greatness. Even though you losers on this channel simply do not deserve it. Shout out to all the members of the Real Gamer Movement. Shout out to everyone <laughs> that believes in this high quality, amazing content that I provide. High quality, amazing content. Listen, listen, listen. My reactions are garbage slop content, right? It's the lowest effort. Of course, even this video is one take. But like, at the very least, the audio is kind of good, right? Y y you have one fucking PNG. You, you put one fucking fr picture and then you talk over this shit. And choose to support me by following me on twitch.tv slash the ancient pizza and subscribing or donating over there. Oh, you got a Twitch? Ancient pizza, he's, he's not plugging it. The ancient pizza. He streams here? 
Young Defiant. Let's check out his <laughs> another ego check. <laughs> Let's check out his. Uh, what, what, what do you average? Young Defiant, Ancient Pizza. What do you got here? You stream? Come on. Kai, not really. Buddy, you're dead. You're losing followers like every stream. You stream for like an hour. What are you doing? You're fucking trash. Come on. If you're gonna talk shit, you need to have the numbers to back it up. And you know the rest. I don't need to complete it. All right. You know the rest. But getting back on topic, who in the hell mm. names a manga Don to Don anyway? That video has a ton of likes, so his audience agrees with them. Well, here's the thing. The 414 people that's liking it, they know that this is rage bait. And it's just all fun and games. Like, this is not a serious opinion, okay? But then there's a tourist, right? There's a tourist that shows up and they get actually mad at this shit. And, and then this represents that audience. Uh, what, what did the author think? He was a superhero or some shit? Dun, da, da, da. It, it's pathetic. <laughs> the These clowns aren't even trying. So a higher intellect is caught up by the name of an anime rather than the actual substance. You're getting mad at the title, bro. That is such kindergarten logic. Trying with their names anymore, and and they don't have to because they know these losers will read and watch anything. It must be nice. It must be nice living in an era where, as mm. a manga author, you can pump out any garbage that you want. You don't have to have quality. You don't have to have anything like that, and you will still have an audience—a completely stupid audience, a bunch of simple minded bad taste having it's so funny because if you listen to what he's saying right now this probably applies to his channel listen to what he's saying right now and apply that to his content have an audience a completely stupid audience a bunch of simple minded bad mm. taste having casuals for an audience that will hype up anything in your trash series like Just this video included i'm already seeing so many idiots online calling this peak saying it's so good anime of the year so many losers with their mouths wide open in the thumbnails doing reaction videos and that's me themselves that's me every frame on a daily basis that could never be me i could never imagine my iq being so low i enjoy something as bad as this why but like explain to me like these rage bait channels all seem to have this one mistake one flaw you they go off in tangents and speak in vague obscure generic ways of why it's bad they they, they never talk in detail though like like so far we're like almost three minutes into the video and not a single point of why Don Don is actually bad as I mentioned. He gets mad at the title. He compares it to Chainsaw Man, which makes no fucking sense. You need to talk about the show. Tell me why this anime is garbage. Tell me why this is bad because you're comparing to something else that does it even better. Why did this garbage receive an anime? It's like the most undeserving manga are getting anime now. Why is it undeserving? Tell me. Nowadays, and, it, and it just shows the anime industry is failing. It's struggling. They're I agree with that point, though. <laughs> I think the industry is fucking cooked. Throwing anything at the wall, hoping that it sticks, man. The first episode was horrible. It was literally so bad. I couldn't believe it. It was an Why was it bad? Tell me. Actual show. I thought this was like a parody or something. That's how bad it was. It was like a parody. The only thing bad is your fucking audio. I can hear the fucking car traffic out your window right now. Why is it bad? Tell me. Parody or something. How to produce. How to make a bad anime. And it's like nobody understood it. Nobody but losers are taking this seriously. It's like this has to be a parody. There's no way. This video is a parody, and anyone actually getting mad at this, you're actually a monkey. But I just want to know, come on, trolling is an art form. I just want these rage bait channels to be better, to actually have winning talking points. So, e even if you don't agree, it's just like, you know what? That point you made is so absolute, I can't even contest it. That's where I want these channels to go. But it's so lazy slop. You're not even trying to rage bait. You haven't even given me one specific example or detail of why Dandaran is bad, other than the title pissing you off. Way an anime could really be this bad. No way. 
the story makes no sense and it's like the author was on drugs he probably was because that's the only explanation why does the story make no sense Break it down! For how random and trash this story is, the characters are trash. You got some loser nerd that somehow happens to be involved with a popular cool girl. Who are these authors trying to fool? I mean, we're seeing so many series like this. Who are these authors trying to fool? Listen, um, I hate to break it to you clowns. Maybe, maybe you nerds that are watching or believe in this uh, garbage. The popular girl does not talk to the nerd in real life. I agree with that. I 100% I agree with the pandering to like a quote unquote loser audience because a lot of them may self insert themselves as a shy, introverted, you know, friendless, you know, person at school. They've been bullied. They can relate to those experiences. And the power fantasy is the popular girl showing out and reaching up. That happens a lot. Not just in Dandadan, happens in rom com so fucking much. I agree with that. However, that does not make the show bad. That's just pandering to a demographic. It's just good business and marketing. It just won't happen. I mean, I don't know if these manga authors are trying to live vicariously through these these pathetic characters and they wish they could have talked to the popular girl. When I mean, he might he's kind of cooking here. I, I do believe fundamentally deep down inside that the audience or the mangaka, they are writing, <laughs> you know, a story that maybe they want to self insert. It's like a it's like a fantasy. You know, you missed out on that. So you kind of want to have like this fictional tale where you can do it over. I, I, I could believe that when they were in school but this doesn't happen we're seeing so many series like this now where the nerd somehow becomes cool with the popular girl it's dude all he has to do is make a video about the modern rom-com anime like bro that video would actually cook he just needs to go shit on why like Modern rom-com is bad because of this single point, and that's an irrefutable point. And now the trolling actually has some substance to stand behind. It's like the only time you would ever see that happen in person would be like if it was a dare or something. Like, hey, Brittany, I, I dare you to talk to the pimple face virgin nerd McGee. We'll give you like twenty dollars. It'll be funny. twenty only. That's the only time. That's the only way that something like that would happen. And I'm so tired of this. And you see all of the time with these, these fake gamer girls, these fake anime and geek girls that aren't even really into it, that are cosplaying, terrible cosplays. <laughs> we attacking e-girls now? <sighs> He's not wrong about that. How many times? And this has nothing to do with fucking Dan Dan. Dan. We're going off a fucking tangent here. This is nothing to do with Dan Dan. Dan but every time a popular uh, show shows up, New game, new character, right? Girls will cosplay them because obviously it's the trend, right? They have, they know nothing about the fucking plot. If you told them, asked them about what the character does, they don't, they can't fucking answer. They're just there to plug their OnlyFans and cosplay, you know, a trendy character. I, I mean, get the bag, right? By the way, but just use gaming, VTubing, etc., as a way to trick once again the virgin pimple face virgin nerd McGee into becoming a tier three sub, into donating their life savings. I don't blame the girl for that. Blame the fucking losers. Where's the self-accountability? Maybe you can shit on the girls for getting the bag, but at the end of the day, maybe you should... I think he's shitting on both of them right now. I think that at the end of the day, like, it's just free market. The people will pay for whatever they want, and you can't really do anything about that. ...to them, all in the hopes that they'll get some attention. Oh, this will be one of those stories where, you know, I'm the nerd, and she's the popular girl. Where we're... And very good point. Momo actually is not a popular girl. She is a girl that may seem popular, but is actually kind of like, not isolated, but does her own thing. She's a typical gal where other people might perceive her as someone that is against the standard norm, the status quo, stands out, wears fashion, you know, fashionable clothing, makeup, hairstyle, blah, blah, blah. She stands on her own moral ethic of code, and she is not like the most popular girl, so that is... That, you know, it, it, it's, it's, this is not like the most popular girl. She's just a random girl. She's a gal. She's just doing her thing. So that doesn't really apply to it. But, you know, it's, it's still the, <laughs> the virgin loser friendless person getting approached by a hot girl. It's, it's pretty much the same. We're in different worlds and our worlds collide and, and we become, you know, together. Gals actually aren't popular. You'd be surprised. Gals get like shunned. It is not like the appropriate thing to be a gal. It is kind of like a stigma. It's, it's got some kind of taboo associated with it. There may be some popular gals, but there's also a lot of gals where they get kind of like, 
isolated and left out because of who they are. And I get married to her. It's never gonna happen, loser. Listen, wake up. And and what's funny is they they just don't get it. it, it it's like, what do we come get? on, wake up. It, you know. Meanwhile, it, it, this thought is pushing her OnlyFans. Right? She's rewarding. Why are we talking about e girls? Cosplaying OnlyFans. This has nothing to do with Don Don Don. I agree that these girls cosplay have no fucking clue what their anime and the video game characters are cosplaying as. What does that have to do with Don Don Don? Followers with with mid, as the kids say these days, thigh pics and cleavage pics online. If we get to a thousand likes, I'll show my thighs, which aren't even uh anything special. This just sounds like a fucking incel getting mad that they average 20 views for fucking uh, a stream, that they average fucking less than 70k views per month on YouTube, and they see other girls getting easy money because they know how to monetize themselves. Listen, listen, that's just part of the fucking game. You're, you're being a fucking loser incel right now. Why are you so fucking heated up? Make better content. Make more money than them. But they'll think it's special because they've never actually seen a woman before. I could be posting the most mid pics, as the kids say online, uh, of their thighs. Of the, uh, They be talking about, damn, she thick. Did you not know what a... <laughs> he called those thigh pics mid. <laughs> Elbows, too pointy for me. Would not fuck three out of ten. Thick woman looks like she is not thick. You don't know what thick is. Maybe thick compared to these anime girls that don't go outside or see sunlight. Go to the hood or something, and, and, and then you'll see a thick girl. These these women online that are po these, these aren't thick women. These aren't thick thighs. All right, note taken. Go to the hood. Where is the nearest hood near me? Guys, these aren't thick. Uh, uh, they don't have ass. No, none of that. But you're so pathetic. You think because you've never actually been outside and seen a real thick woman. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired. If we get 5K likes, I'll show my thighs. If I get... Talk about the fucking anime! Why are we talking about how these virgin losers don't know what a thick woman is? And you, you clowns are falling for it, man. Imagine having to resort to that. Imagine having 5k likes. Can we get this to 5k likes and I'll show my ass? Imagine having to resort to content that only has to do with rage baiting. Not even like quality rage baiting. Listen, if you want to rage bait, like I said, do it well. Do it in such a well-mannered way where they know that you're hating, but you've actually put some thought into it and there's talking points that cannot be refuted. Like, what are you doing, bro? What the fuck are you so proud of? You shitting on OnlyFans girls making more money than you because they're making more money than you. You can't do shit. You are literally making less views than my fucking second channel, brother. What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? It's like, imagine that. <laughs> imagine having to resort to that because your streams are trash. Your con How are you saying your streams are trash? Bro. Take a look at your mirror. Again, if you want to do this shit, you have to have the numbers to back it up. Like, there's nothing wrong with going in this angle, but like, brother, you, your house is built with a fucking glass. You're averaging 23 point views per fucking stream. You're, you stream like an hour or two per stream. You lose followers every fucking stream. Your YouTube is fucking dead. How could you possibly be coming at an angle saying, imagine having to resort to this shit and shitting on their content when your content sucks? Content is trash. That could never be me. But anyway, back on topic. That could never be me? Come on, man. I come everything is public data. Come on, man. Um, this anime is a complete flop. Only weirdos enjoy it. Um, everything about it will be forgotten about instantly, and no one will ever go back to it. And, and now that's an interesting point. Will Don the Don be remembered after 2024? Remember solo leveling in January, right? Beginning of this year, people were saying, "Oh, anime of the year, anime of the year." Well, everyone's glazing because it's the new hottest shit, right? But if season two announcement wasn't happening, would people still be talking about it? I feel like Frieden has kind of that 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 uh, dominance, that staying power, right? That shelf life. But dun da dun. I mean, it's only been two episodes or three episodes, right? We need to let this shit cook. Who knows at this point if this is going to actually be remembered, you know, five, ten years into the future because it could just easily be forgotten.
And that is a fact, not an opinion. It's not something that you can dispute. It's not something that, because oh, you know, every time one of these facts fitting videos comes out, it's always some type of loser in the comment section or online that comes across the video that's always trying to counter me or, or he's just a troll. Don't take him seriously. Even though like, how am I a troll when I'm sitting here spitting facts, but you're not the troll when you sit here and do nothing but hype up trash 24 seven. No, you're a fraud. You haven't come with a good talking point yet. You got mad at the title. That's such a fucking monkey take to get mad at a title of an anime. Then you say it's bad because it's bad without details. Then you got mad because Okaren is like the self-insert. I kind of agree with you about the self-insert virgin loser for people to relate to. But then you go off on an OnlyFans tangent saying like, you, you don't know what thick is. What the, what the fuck? That's, that's not actual fucking talking point to one Don Don is bad. You just mad that the average fucking anime watcher don't know what the fucking Thick women look like and they need to go to the hood for that. To me, that's a troll. It, it, a troll is somebody that sits here and pretends to like garbage left and right just to be accepted. Because that's what you do. You don't. A troll could also be someone that hates something just to be accepted. Actually like these series, but you, you do your little corny Twitter posts. You do your little corny video. Yeah, you do your corny video too. You do this little fucking hate tirade too. Everything you're saying, you're literally talking about two sides of the same coin. You are the biggest hypocrite right now. Uh, talking about how peak this is, how awesome this is, all for attention from other people that you don't even know online. <laughs> That's crazy to me. I don't do this for attention. I do this to spread awareness. I try to keep my guys away from For sure, he's not doing this for attention. He's doing it for his community to let them know that Dan Dan is a like garbage anime. The worst anime of 2024. No, it's not the fucking healer got banished from the party anime. No, it's not that. It's not Tower of God season two, part one. Nope, nope, nope. Dan Dan, Dan is the worst. And he's doing us a community service, bro. A great citizen. From trash series like this because this is horrible. And what's so funny about it is I'm always ahead of the curve, man. I, I, was, I read <laughs> two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. I this manga years ago and I dropped it instantly. I was just like another chainsaw man rip off another, you know, and I guess he was Fujimoto's assistant or whatever. It's like, get your own style. Is that it? Bro, you call this a fucking chainsaw man clone just because the assistant works on this, but you can't name a single similarity? Just because it's the assistant don't mean shit. So what? I have yet to see anything in Dan 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 that made me think about Chainsaw Man. Clown. But um, just a terrible series. And then it ends up getting an anime. And then I come back years later and I'm like, how did this trash get an anime? It's, it's the same thing with that Freeran garbage. I, oh. I read that years ago. Then all of a sudden now the anime comes out. It's the best anime of all time according to casual losers. And I'm like, wait a minute. This was a flop when I read it. Nobody was talking. Frieden getting the stray bullets. Talking about now, all of a sudden, all these losers are doing fan art and, and everything, and keeping it going. It's number one on Mal. It's just crazy how an anime can can take a trash manga that no one cares about, and all of a sudden now it's this global phenomenon. Like it, it's just wild to me. But anyway, characters, trash, story, trash, animation, trash. You no 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 you no, but you're saying bad because bad again. You need to explain. Do you, are you even capable of explaining why it's bad? You just say character trash, story trash, title trash, anime trash because trash. Why is it trash though? Trash. There is nothing good about this anime. It just isn't. And of course, people are going to hype it up. Of course, people are going to pretend like they like it because it's profitable for them to do so. Why don't you idiots understand that what they're doing is trying to run a business here? And it's like, wake up and realize that they don't like these series that they're pushing to you, but they just know it's so easy to come online and pretend to like stuff. You will grow. If you put somebody, um, if you put, uh, that happens with a lot of shit for reactions. Yeah. I mean, if someone's just watching something mid and they aren't actually hating it, but they're just like, yeah, it's all right. Are you like killing somebody? Are we like deceiving? It's like, it's like if someone kind of just like enjoys something that's just average or something, that may not be the best thing. It's just like, or it's, 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 it's as if this is like the worst thing you could ever do in humanity, right? In society. That's, that's kind of crazy. But there is some like partial truth in people faking their enthusiasm, but it's very easy to tell. It's really easy to tell when you can like, um, like, like just watch a fucking reaction, right? See how much engaged they are with the show. Are they like talking about it or are they just sitting idly by and just saying, oh no, oh my God. Two uh, content creators side by side. Let's say a content creator is legendary as me. You put me side by side with a, with an individual, uh, just a
side by side. My, like, I, I'm literally using my alt channel because I feel bad. Like, like, like this channel with almost 40k subs, I, I'm literally using my alt channel to compare because I feel bad. Because if I brought my main channel, this is just bullying at this point. Like, I'm, I'm literally just bull. Like, like, it's just, it, come, come on. Come on. You can't come in with that angle if you can't back it up with the numbers. What do you mean? Casual loser that does nothing but hype stuff up. And here I'm over here keeping it real. Who do you think is going to grow more? Who do, <laughs> Who do you think is going to grow more? <laughs> the guy that is genuinely enjoying the things and giving honest fucking takes about the shows they watch. Or a person that can do nothing but spew hate because you have no content. You're a pathetic loser that can only hate. And even then, you can't even hate properly. I'm literally coaching you and giving you tips on how to fucking troll. You are literally bottom tier troll rage baiter. You're averaging 63k views per month month right now brother what are you so proud of i do not understand how you can be so proud of yourself who do you think is gonna grow of course the guy that's fake positive of course the guy that's pretending to like trash all day will blow me out of the water when it comes to growth because ah oh, now you want to play victim oh, i can't grow as the realest any tuber because i'm not faking my reactions everyone else is doing better than me but me i'm gonna be forever stuck here nah bro now you're just sounding like an actual loser Loser. You're literally just crying. Poor me. Wah. Bro, just make better content. Stop being such a fucking pussy. Ain't no one give a fuck. If your content was better, you'd be doing better. If you are hating or glazing, it doesn't matter. Offer entertainment. Learn how to troll better. And I bet that maybe you could beat my second channel. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch me because I'm too negative. But underneath it all, when you have your third eye open, when you understand stuff, then you come back and say, damn, Young was right. I get people all the time that come to my videos years later. Yeah, because they're fucking schizo. It's just like you. Damn, he was right. If only we would have listened to him. But Paid actors. And doing what everyone else is doing. Because for some reason, now it's cool to do what everyone else is doing when it used to be cool to be unique. You people are clowns, and if you watch this anime, you're not a real anime fan. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But <sighs> It's just sad, man. Like, I, I, I genuinely do love rage bait videos if they're done well, right? It's an art form. Trolling is a refined art. But this is just, like, very just uncultured, just savagery. You need to have talking points. If you want to troll, right? And you want to go against like the popular anime, the popular opinion, right? You need to go in with like an objective talking point that has some like partial truth to it to the point you can do mental gymnastics and try to compel the audience in why your point is correct. And if you did that in, an, in like a very, I don't know, thoughtful way, in a well-spoken way, I bet your content would get way more better received. But like, here's the thing. Y your content sucks. You're literally like D tier troller. That's why your, your channel is like this. And there's a lot more videos. There's a freedom video. We should have watched the freedom video a while ago. I mean, listen, he, yeah, maybe it's not fair for me to compare his monthly viewership, right? I mean, I mean, last video was four months ago, right? Seven months ago, but also that's on fucking you. You should have just fucking pumped more content out. That's on fucking you, but that's pretty much it. The entire reason for why Dandaran is bad is because the title sucks, the character writing and whatever sucks because it sucks, and it's copying Chainsaw Man because the author is the assistant of Fujimoto. Come on, man. That is so low effort. That's such a low effort troll, but hey, at least we'll do the due diligence. Please go check out Mr. Young Defiance channel. Give him a like or sub to him if you'd like, and we'll see you next time.